how am I going to take off? Like, you realize they're going to boost me up maybe to about here and then fly me straight into the wall. It's a horrible landing area. Hello everyone, Thoranx is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 39. Uh, where we have to have a little bit of a talk. Unfortunately, as everything in my uh, OS updated in between last episode and this episode, it caused an error where I actually recorded footage and it's totally unusable. So we had to update more things and change more stuff around, but really what that means is, unfortunately, we lost some gameplay and I'm going to have to catch you up to what I did. Um, in the uh, in the lost episode that was originally 39 um, I didn't do too much uh, but I did do some things now I would normally I would happily reload my save but unfortunately this game auto saves and I can only reload to a few minutes ago so we're gonna have to roll with it and be flexible okay so first things first I built a storage container as you can see and I threw some things in it that I don't... Actually, I, I need the salt refractor, actually. Um, but I'm throwing some things in it that... Mm, let's see. I don't really need right now. So we'll just throw all that stuff in there. Um, I did build a terminus in my base. Because I think that's important. Although we haven't gone through it yet. And uh, the biggest thing that we missed in the last episode, which saddens me greatly, is uh, we dealt with the scientist. And so what happened was the scientist uh, taught us how to make microprocessors, and then we took its core to connect to the Corvax Convergence, uh, which was just at a radio station, and they decided that because he was interfacing with me, the Traveler, he was going to get his memory wiped, and he had to reboot. So we're going to find out just exactly what that reboot means. Unknown life form, I passed my test. Ehu, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters, right, because her memory was wiped. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the convergence, or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. I accept these terms. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Now, one of the things the scientists did teach us before they had their memory wiped was how to build a large refinery. And I spoke about this in the missing episode um, quite a bit as to why... It taught us a large refinery right off the bat without teaching us a medium refinery. I think that's a little goofy. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning is, but that's the way it goes, apparently. So let's see. If we want to make my, uh, carbon, we need carbon nanotubes to make microprocessors. And we're going to need carbon to make more microprocess or to make more carbon nanotubes. So we actually, we, what we need is quite a bit of chromatic metal. And we need quite a bit of carbon to be able to make this large refinery. And I really want to make this large refinery because I'm tired of having to use this small portable one. And I'd like to start making some really good stuff. So let's begin by processing all of this wonderful copper. And in fact, we should have, hold on, we should have another one of these, where is it, portable technology, yes, portable refiner too. And we'll process more copper. So we're going to need lots of it. Let's see. How far away are we from this outpost? Actually, hold on. Or this observatory. Let's talk to the overseer as well. Because as it turns out, 
the timer that was mentioned in the comments that I needed to pass before I get taught a new blueprint didn't start until I placed my first storage container. So actually, I had to wait. I had to wait some time after that, and hopefully, it's been long enough because uh, I logged out for a bit. Friend, there's another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? I don't see a Viking in attendance. Right. So that's the other thing. Is now this um, our overseer wants us to create a weapons terminal so that we can recruit a Viking for our base. Does my help mean so little that you would tarry so? <laughs> Must recruit an armor before we can proceed. Yeah, I, I accept these terms. Yeah, uh, but that's, that's not what we're doing right now. So we're going to need to go to this observatory. And it seems to be far away. Hmm. Well, let's see. We've used all of our pulse engine fuel, so I think we're going to have to go ahead and begin to make some pyrite here. That way we don't use our tritium up, because I do read the comments. Uh, let us also gather some carbon while we're waiting, right over here at our little jungle. Look at that. Carbon and sulfurine. Carbon and star bulb. I think that's going to be where it's at. Are you kidding me? I don't accept these terms. You leave me alone. So sick of these sentinels. Okay, well that was your fault. You flew into that. Yeah, exactly. So, see how that does you. Ugh. Just leave me alone. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. Yeah, they're, they're like, uh, who's that person running away from the scene of the crime? It was probably that person. It was not. You're mistaken. Oh, look, an alien artifact, though. We can learn some more of the Corvax language. Uh, there was a good bit of that as well. So, we've now learned the Corvax word for vessel. Just keep knocking that off our list. Alright, good. Sentinel Force can just leave me alone. I just want to gather carbon in peace. That's what I want to do. Alright, let's see. More carbon nanotubes, please. I think that's really all we need more than anything. Oh, it's only 30 phosphorus to refuel that. Ooh, let's do that. I so want to put the pulse splitter here. So I think if we... Hold on. So the real question is, I want to put the scanner here and the, mi and the, and the advanced mining laser over there, right? No, that's for the analysis visor. Okay. Well, that, that sort of changes things. Ah, so we laid out this multi-tool wrong, unfortunately. 
we laid it out completely wrong. So the only way to fix it is to craft our visor near our scanner modules, and that, that explains, see, that's something that was also mentioned in the comments, and I thought I had kind of set myself up to do that properly, um, but I did not. I got my, my scanner confused with my analysis visor. And part of the problem, part of the reason with that, is that the image, I'm sure you could see, the image of the scanner is the same as these, but these are for the analysis visor, which is this one, so... I don't know if they did that on purpose, just to see if you're paying attention. Or what the reasoning is, but... Mm. Here we go, it's another boiling storm. No planet's perfect. So we have a really good planet, except for these boiling storms. That's all. It's just a boiling storm. All right. Chromatic metal. And now we need a little bit more sodium nitrate. So... Let's just process 25 of it. And then we should... Uh-oh, life forms. No, we've already scanned these. We're still missing, I think, two, two or three life forms on this planet. It's so hot. Submerged relic. Armored clam. Mmm. Alright, sodium nitrate. And then we'll take our regular sodium back. Okay. You better get away from my base. It'll start causing trouble. Alright, so let's see if we can construct ourselves a nice large refinery. Oh no, of course, we need the five microprocessors. Um, that shouldn't be a problem, though. We should have all the materials needed for that, I would think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And... Uh, now we're short on chromatic metal. Okay. So we need to process a little bit more chromatic metal here. And I think we're just going to do that right here. As we do have more copper, I believe. Yes. Lots and lots of copper. Okay, I think at this time, I don't want to wait any longer for that thing to straighten out. So let's go see what the scientist wants us to check out and get ourselves some more blueprints, shall we? Well, I have a feeling this is actually pretty far away. Although it's not really telling us. It does appear to be well over the horizon. Alright, let's, let's leave the atmosphere for a second. See if we can get an accurate gauge on how far away this is. And we're going to refill our pulse engine with pyrite. Did we not grab the pyrite out of... We did not. Are you kidding me? Okay, so back down to our base. We took off, we left all the pyrite in the refinery. Whoops! Well, you know, these things do happen. I suppose we could just mine tritium out of the asteroids, but I specifically refined all that pyrite so that I wouldn't have to use tritium as a fuel source anymore. So we're just going to land and get that squared away. Thank you. That would explain why one... Oh, that startled me. That would explain why one portable refiner was flashing green, exactly, and the other was not. Or maybe not. 
Oh, they're not even visibly, like, processing. Why is this one not turning green when it's ready to go? Nah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But now that we have the chromatic metal, now I'm inclined not to leave just yet. Anyways, because now we have the equipment to make a large refiner. What? I thought this was facing... Why would it face the... I don't want to delete it. I actually just want to rotate it. So let's go ahead and... There. So that should have given us all our materials back. Let's try this again. Although I think instead... I want it to kind of face away from the scientist, maybe? Like this way. Yes! Ooh-wee! Look at this. Three different inputs. So what if we process these two things? Ooh, it says nothing. And this. Nope. And that just turns into carbon. Okay, well, what we need, what I need, I think is some dihydrogen and some tritium. See, I don't know. We're going to have to experiment. The object in question, or the element in question, that I really would love to get my hands on is deuterium. And I'm pretty sure that's dihydrogen mixed with something else. If I had to guess. So let's just take a second and see if we can experiment a little bit. There's only so many things we have that we could try. Phosphorus. Hmm. Chromatic metal, perhaps? No. I'm trying to think of something that's common. You know, ionized cobalt. It doesn't really... Hmm. Might just be like carbon. Did we try just plain sodium? No, let's try plain carbon. Or maybe ferrite dust? No. Doesn't seem like it mixes with anything. I wonder if you have to get the recipes for this stuff. There it is. Dihydrogen cycling to deuterium. So we can make 60. So we need more dihydrogen and more tritium. That's fine. We'll start processing that while we're gone. Um, but now we know what we need to make those weapons, and for the other weapon that I want to make, not the geology cannon, but the plasma launcher, we need a super oxide crystal. Well, that's going to spend, that's going to take us a little bit of time to figure that one out. But figure it out, we will. I'll take you with me. You can stay here for now. Well, well, now that I'm so close to getting an actual weapon for my multi-tool, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so let's get ourselves a good bit of tritium in the asteroids that are in orbit. And then we'll grab a significant amount of dihydrogen once we get back down to the planet. Mm, I see asteroids over here. That's a pretty dense little field. I like it. Plus, if we get more gold, we can make more pyrite. Which is our new fuel. And then the silver. I don't know what we're going to do with the silver. We'll figure something out for it. Mm. 
Now, I've been told a lot of different recipes in the in the comments for a lot of different things that I should focus on making, and to be honest, it is hard to keep them all straight. Now, I, deb I, I debated writing them all down, but I think I'm just going to trust my memory and do my best to try to recover the ones that we need when and where. So one of the other things we did in the lost episode was we attacked the depot because I had gotten a mission to attack a depot. And then I found out that they didn't want me to attack any depot. They wanted me to attack a very specific depot. Which I, of course, didn't do. So, ooh, 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 ooh. So, of course, now... We have, we have some materials that, ooh, recruitable frigates. Oh, did I mention we also hired a merchant frigate? Yeah, I might not have mentioned that. But we did, so. And it looks like this one. Kind of the same thing. Traveler Captain, the Convergent knows you seek new recruits for your fleet. We're here to assist if you require. A B-class trade specialist. Inefficient engine, trade specialist, mind control device. Oh, look at them all. Wow, there's quite a few of them. So they're all C-class. This would be the first B-class that I've found, and now I can't find them again. Oh no! Now it won't let me... Hold on! That's fine. We don't have the money for all that anyways. We need to make some money. Then we can start looking at hiring more and more frigates. All right, in the meantime, I think we have the tritium we need, so... Mm, let's dodge this big asteroid. And then let's get going to this place here that it's not locking onto our... onto our visor for some reason, or telling us how far away it is. Rather odd. Oh, is that a building over there? No. We're going to stay on course. Go to this observatory. Oh, the landing pad's up on the mountain. I don't know how that's going to work. I suppose we're going to give it a shot. Really? Really? So that's where we... How am I going to take off? Like, you realize... They're going to boost me up maybe to about here and then fly me straight into the wall. It's a horrible landing area. I mean, horrible. All right, let's save and chart the sector. Gosh. The Odesto Expanse. Yeah. That's just, that's insane right there. And you put the landing pad over there. Like, ugh, I don't... I question that. I challenge that. They built this place all wrong. And maybe there's a front door somewhere? Oh, well, of course. I took the long way around. The Bamas Mabasi Ihe Telescope. Yeah, those are going to take... Titan pa or Atlas Passes 2. Okay. Then I guess let's just get our blueprint from the Corvax Observatory. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose, to locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. I would like to download that data, please. 
And now we return to the scientists. Okay, well, I hope it's everything they need. Because if it's not, I'm not going to know what to tell them. Mm, wait a second. We need some dihydrogen. And there's some around here, so... Yeah, see, look at these large, beautiful crystals of dihydrogen over there. There you go. Collecting it from long range. We're going to need quite a bit, actually. Ugh, are you kidding me? Don't you have something better to do? Get out of here, okay? Yeah, exactly. Okay, just, just go find something else to do. Now, we do have a side quest that we picked up a while back for killing sentinels, so... Well, I feel a lot better when I get a better weapon. Oh, no! Oh, I missed my jump, and then... Okay, well, let's go in here. Are you guys really going to chase me into the cave? You don't want to come in the cave, do you? They don't want to come into the cave. Exactly. They do want to come into the cave. Okay, fine. Ooh, what is this? Dihydrogen? Yeah. I accept these terms. Ugh. If you guys are really going to make this a big thing... Then we're going to make it a big thing. Where's my ship? Alright. It's time to carve our way out of this mountain. Hey, wouldn't you know it? It's dihydrogen. You don't say. Sentinels searching? Well, you just keep on searching. Don't stop believing. Okay. I think it's time we got out of here. We've got all the materials we need. Get ready to face plant this rock! Mm. Thanks. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. I should have called it somewhere else. Let the ship land elsewhere. Hostile scan detected? What? System authority starships incoming. You know what? I accept these terms. I think it's time you learned a lesson. I am through running and being afraid. Not going to happen anymore. Ooh, well, you do some damage, though. Mm, nope, back to the photon cannon. Break, okay. Break, turn, turn. I need a more maneuverable ship. Come on. Okay, this thing is doing a lot more damage to me than I'm doing to it. I think it's time we took a little bit of evasive maneuvers here.
All right, let's veer off. Yep. We could go fly around the frigates, maybe, and bait them into shooting the uh, the capital ship or the frigates. Well, let's just let our shield come back a little bit, and then we're just going to turn right around on them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Hold up. Oh, yeah. That's right. Fighting right on the edge of the atmosphere. Woohoo! Boom. Oh, great. So now even more so they're into us. Oh, this is just going to escalate. How about we pulse jump out of here, huh? No, we can't do that because we're sort of in the atmosphere. Well, we've got freighters teleporting in. Hold on. Where are these? Aha, here we go. Alright, system defense ships. Let's see what you got. I guess it doesn't do any good to fight these guys. They just keep coming, huh? I mean, what else are you supposed to do? Oh, how about if I dock on this freighter? Ooh. Now what are you going to do? And close the docking bay door. Oh, these guys are my friends. They're like, here, we'll hide you from the system authorities. Destroyed 15 starships. Okay. Alright, that works. Well, that looks like a good a place as any to wrap up episode 39. Goodness. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Be sure and hit that like button if you did, because as always, I've had a good time playing and would love to see you next time. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already done so. But until next time... Take care.